to Garcy Goody with yesterday's strawberry letter response. Um, so this woman writes in, she says she's been dealing with this man on and off for a couple of years. She said that they haven't dated more than three, four months because he always disappears with no, no communication and then pops back up like nothing happens. She said this most recent time may be the last straw because she don't think she can get over it. She said, you know, his lies and stuff over the year have been off-putting, but again, just on and off. That's why she never really took him seriously. But nonetheless, she kept sleeping with him. So she said he has women's names tattooed all over his body. He has four names. She said right on his chest, he has his mother's name over his heart. Under that, he has his daughter's name, and under that, his daughter's mother's name. She said, way below there is a mystery woman's name with the words, my girl, tattooed. And I'm going to assume it's like on his waistline, almost private area, like that groin kind of location. She asked him whose it was. And he said it was his <laughs> grandmother's name on his father's side, who he never met. She said she thought it was funny and she was going to ask his mom about it, but she didn't want to start any drama, so she kind of just left it alone. She said all these years she's been having sex with him, looking at these names, and she has said nothing about it. She said this last time they were having amazing makeup sex because he disappeared again for three weeks, no call, no two, I mean three weeks, two weeks, two or three weeks without any communication. She said... He was going crazy. She was doing everything that he loved. And he was losing his mind and begging for mercy. She said that he then called her the mystery name that's tattooed on his body. She said she left it alone and let him finish. And when he was done, she told him what he said. She said that he said, no, he didn't. <laughs> so she said she knows what she heard. And he refused to admit that he said it. And he refused to tell who it really is. So she's like, she's realizing that she, this man really thinks she's a fool to believe this story in the first place. So she wants to know if she should keep going at him to know who the name belongs to. Or if she should just leave it alone and leave it for good. Because she wants to know why this woman is so important to be tattooed on his body. But she's never been tattooed. That's a question. Listen, ma'am. You are, I think, possibly a side chick. I feel like the mystery woman might be his, like, legit woman. So as y'all been on and off, he probably been constant with this woman. And you are the, when she aggravates him or he gets in the mood, he messes with you, goes back and forth. And then, you know, when they make up and they're like really, really good, then he disappears and comes back. I feel like this is what's happening. And maybe when he stays with her consecutively, maybe he goes MIA from you. I don't know, but clearly you're not the one, right? That's why you ain't got no space on his body, all right? I don't understand people tattooing names, but I feel like people do it. I know people do it. <laughs> so, while I can't tell you why your name was never tattooed, I mean, I can tell you why. Because you ain't that important. So, you see who's on him? His mama, his baby mama, and his baby. And this chick, that ain't you. So, you've been wasting your time and energy going back and forth with this man being available for this man because it seems like whenever he resurfaces you just be there ready and waiting have an attitude but you still have sex with him so why what what are you, what is this are you hoping to get some type of relationship out of it because from what i see it's never gonna happen i don't have no advice outside of get rid of him he clearly thinks you're stupid like you said because who tattoos their grandmother's name and then says it while they're doing the deed and a grandmother that they never even met. So you put putting somebody's name on your body that you have no type of ties to, no type of feelings for. You don't know this woman. So you just like the idea of her and that makes you tattoo her name. That don't make sense. So listen, sis. Get off the floor. Stop 
in a doormat and exit stage left, okay? It's over. The show is over. Curtain closed. Just go. He's not going to tell you the truth. Clearly, he's been lying to you all this time. He's been getting away with it. There's literally no reason for him to come clean now. Even though he called you that lady's name, that should have been on you for believing in stupidness in the beginning or letting him think you believed it in the beginning because that's it. You ain't getting nothing else out of this. So, y'all let me know how you feel about it. I feel like it's a done deal for this chick and I feel like she should quit while she's ahead. All right, y'all, bye.